Hi, I'm Brinley. And I'm Jeremiah. Welcome back with The Pulse. Last week, a dodgeball tournament took place in the gym. Madden Ryerson has a story. On Thursday, February 29th, the 7th and 8th grade student council hosted the annual dodgeball tournament. These dodgeball teams were made up of five boys and five girls, and students can include one teacher or high schooler in their group. This event was a good way to get students involved in a competitive environment where they could have fun and get more engaged with sports. To display the fun, we put a GoPro on Riley Vanderlinden and Addie Harms. I'll get the right in the purple. I'm a get out! Get out! No! Got him! Got him! Get out! I feel like we got a lot of people out. It's a pretty successful tournament. You know, I, first off, I'd like to thank God, you know. Second off, I would like to thank my mom for helping me put on my belt this morning. This double elimination tournament was overall very enjoyed by all of the students, and the bleachers full of kids proved it. Team 2 won the tournament, casting them as the annual dodgeball champions. This has been Mountain Ryerson reporting for The Pulse. At Bondurant for our junior high, one eighth grader aspires to be a mechanic. Cameron Wells brings us more. This is Tyler Weber. He likes to work on tractors, motorcycles, and mowers. Tyler wants to work on tractors as a career for the future. He helps run a business called Weber Tractor Restorations. This shed is where Tyler does his work at. Tyler's first tractor project was on the John Deere 520. I've been around tractors ever since I was born, and I've been driving them for years. So I guess I just uh, enjoyed working on him for that reason. So I decided to ask him what his favorite tractor project was. Either my John Deere 160 because it was free, or my John Deere 520 because it was a fun project. He has one unfinished project on the Chevy dump truck in his backyard. Oh, that old Chevy dump truck? Uh, I think my dad and my neighbor got that. I think it was uh, Nebraska or something, probably 15 or so years ago. It's horrible. Um, anything and everything is bad about it. This is Tyler Weber showing you how to run a tractor. So we're going to make sure our clutch is back and we're in neutral. Then we're going to flip the switch, give her a little bit of gas. Now we'll reach over to our starter pedal here. Uh-oh. We'll try that again. There it goes. This has been Cameron Wells reporting for The Pulse. You know how they always say, never judge a book by its cover? Well, we sent Aubrey Lewis and Brinley Hay to the library to do just that. Hey, Brinley and I are going to judge a book by its cover. Let's see how cringy this is going to be. <laughs> hmm, I'm with Cupid? Yeah, I don't think so because um, she's a she literally looks like a basic white girl. Like, look at that. Terrifying tales. His face looks terrifying. Like, terrifying. <laughs> matched? That's interesting. She definitely ain't matched with a guy. Anola Holmes, huh? Oh my. Did you know Anola, spelt backwards, is alone? Hmm. I'm gonna choose this book. A Day No Pigs Would Die? Oh my god. Why is he looking down like that? Like, look at that. It's just like... Ooh, why would anyone read that? Storm Siren. Huh. That sounds like an interesting book. Gives me kind of vibes like... Hmm. Danny Constantino's first and maybe last date. Well, it's kind of obvious. He's a horse and look at her. I mean, like... Noggin? But thinks he's it and his face and body don't even match. And remember, kids, never judge a book by its cover, unless it looks like this.
went to the algebra room to talk to the students about what they think they're going to get on their upcoming test. Now, we're going to find out what they actually got. I think I'm going to get a 96. I think I'm going to get like an 89. I got a 72. I also got a 72. I think I'm going to get a 93%. I think I'm going to get an 85%. Got a 90% on my algebra test. So basically, they took this before the study guide. So I got a 79%, but my retake score will be better. Um, so basically, I think I'm going to get like a 92%, maybe 93, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I thought I was getting like a 90, but actually I got a 69%. So that's not good, I guess. <laughs> 100. 71. I got a 90%. I got a 76. I think I'm going to get a 91%. I got a 90%. I think I'm going to get a 70. I think I'm going to get a 90. 69. I got an 86. Thanks for watching. Have a great spring break.